The Acropolis, that eternal symbol of the city of Athens, has now attained a fresh dynamic with its new museum. A 21st century museum worthy of the masterpieces from the sacred rock which it displays and protects. Architecturally, the museum expresses the mathematical precision and ideological clarity of ancient Greece. Characterized by its simplicity, it deliberately avoids monumentality for its own sake so that the mind and emotions of its visitors can focus on the extraordinary works of art within. The museum opened its doors to the public in the summer of 2009 and provides visitors with a comprehensive image of the Acropolis and its finds with the comforts of a modern building. Built just a few meters from the sacred rock itself, the museum gives visitors the chance to enjoy a panoramic view of both the Acropolis and the modern city from its galleries and exhibition spaces, as well as from its refreshment and dining areas. The museum boldly incorporates the remains of an ancient Athenian neighborhood, which was brought to light during an archaeological excavation. This excavation is now visible through the great opening at the museum's entrance, as well as through the glass floor of the interior spaces. More than 3,000 years of Athenian life are captured in the 4,000 square meters of excavated remains, which unfold at the base of the museum. The building appears to hover above the excavation, supported by massive pylons, which were placed with great care among the antiquities. Inside the museum, visitors begin their tour in the Gallery of the Slopes. Here are displayed the finds from the large and small sanctuaries which were established on the slopes of the rock of the Acropolis, as well as finds from the settlement nearby. In antiquity, these slopes were the intermediary zone between the city and its illustrious sanctuaries. The wealth of finds discovered here give a detailed picture of both the public and private life of the city throughout antiquity. The rising glass floor of the Gallery of the Slopes gives visitors the sensation of actually ascending the sacred rock. Continuing the tour, the visitor comes upon the first level, which hosts finds from the Archaic period up to the time of the Roman Empire. The sculptures are freestanding in the exhibition space. For the very first time, a visitor may admire them from all sides and can discover the subtle qualitative differences among the sculptures and appreciate the fine artistry that went into their creation. This level was designed in such a way as to reproduce the conditions of the outside environment in which the majority of these finds were situated during antiquity. The tall columns of the archaic gallery make reference to the architecture of the ancient temples around which these sculptures were placed in ancient times. While the glass walls of the gallery allow the ever-changing natural light to illuminate different aspects of the exhibits throughout the course of the day.
in a prominent position, situated on a specially designed balcony, stand the maidens of the Erechtheion, the celebrated Caryatids. The reception hall on the third level prepares the visitor for his entrance to the renowned Glass Gallery of the Parthenon, where the culmination of the museum's collection, the Parthenon sculptures, are displayed. The rectangular core of the gallery has the exact same dimensions as the cella of the temple and makes possible the display of the sculptures of the frieze in the same sequence in which they were placed on the ancient temple. In this way, the frieze is reunified, albeit with copies, once again presenting a comprehensible theme and composition. The incorporation of the Parthenon frieze on the core of the gallery, the placement of the metopes between the columns, the arrangement of the figures in the two pediments at either end, and the joining together of the original sculptures with cast replacement copies of those found in museums abroad, all give the visitor, for the first time, the opportunity to enjoy the entire sculptural decoration of the Parthenon and to appreciate the degree to which the temple sculptures have been dismembered and dispersed. The Museum of the Acropolis presents in a beautifully condensed manner peak moments from ancient Greek civilization and gives to the visitor a unique experience. <laughs>